Hey there, it's Carla from Sea Law Plans, and I am here to do a very quick flip through of my very first passion planner. I got this passion planner in February of 2020, and I was changing my planning systems. So for the first little bit, I used it functionally, and then when COVID hit, it just went to memory planning. And so I do have the medium size of the passion planner, and I didn't do a whole lot with these front pages because I knew that I wasn't going to be using it as a goal setting system because I had, at the time already had my Moxie Life, which was my goal setting planner. But I really wanted to try this one just for the hourly. So like I said, at the very beginning, it was pure function for me. I had all of my appointments, all of my school schedule, everything that I was doing throughout the entire month, this was my main go-to. So if I ever scheduled anything, I never went to the weekly. This is where I went. And so I had transferred some of my goals from my Moxie Life to here because I wanted to keep track of what I was going to be doing. And so I used to be an hourly planner in 2019 and then when 2020 hit I went to the Moxie Life system and that was not hourly and I did the Moxie Life system for a couple of months and I just really missed having hours and so I bought this in February I did do back planning just because I wanted to be able to find my flow I had a bunch of empty space because it was a back plan and so I basically just filled it all with stickers just because why not and so this week I wanted to outline the boxes and see how I liked that. This week I did little brackets and highlighted the entire time block to see how I liked that. And then I went back to doing one single highlight for the title of the time block and then highlighting the hours here to see how I liked that. And so a lot of this back planning in January was me just trying to figure out how I liked to block my time. And so at this time, it wasn't an actual planner for me. It was really just me trying to find my flow. And then here is where I kind of really realized I liked how everything was working because I loved having like this whole block of what I was going to do. And then anything that I did that wasn't planned, I wrote in. And so it was kind of also like keeping track of my day as well. And so everything that was blocked out was completely planned. And then everything that had the arrows was just things that I added in so I could know what I did that day or that week. And then I did reflections and then February. And then again, I think this was a back plan week because I think this was my first week in actually scheduling and utilizing the planner as the functional planner that it's intended for. And so this was my first like actual planning, keeping it with me, carrying it around type of planner. And so I did all of February that way. You know, we had swim lessons at the time. I was still in school, so I blocked out every single night and wrote down exactly what I was going to be studying, what I was going to be working on. I had checklists in here. It was such a fabulous functional planner for me. And I love, I love, love, love hourly planners. And then we got into the beginning of March. All was still going well, still had a great time, completely functional. This was probably my favorite functional spread. I didn't think I would ever really like these colors together, but I absolutely loved them. And then COVID hit. <laughs> and so I was like, oh my gosh. As with everybody else, I completely had no idea what to do with my planners. So as I was using this one to carry around with me for my functional planner, I was still keeping my Moxie Life goal setting planner at home and utilizing that every day and every week as well. And so once COVID hit, I really didn't know what to do with the functional planner because I didn't need these hourly slots anymore because I didn't have any more appointments. My kids were out of school. So March 13th here in Kansas is where everything kind of shut down. So we had this scheduled for him. We got this done and then everything closed down that night. And so Saturday was the first official day of like quarantining, staying home type thing. My parents were actually here already visiting and it was, it was, it was a mess. So 
I searched Instagram and I was like, I just need to figure out what to do. And I found Shannon over at Just Plan with Shan. And she is a memory planner. And I was like, oh my gosh, I could totally do that. I would love to keep track, especially in these crazy times of everything that has been going on. So this was my first memory planning spread. And I will not lie, this took me about three hours because I really didn't know what I was doing and I wanted it to just look nice. I wanted to be able to journal a little bit so I can keep track of what was going on during the days so we can see what was happening with COVID and all kinds of stuff. And so then I just stuck with it. So the entire planner from that week on has been all memory planning and I have tried so many different styles. And then in April, I decided to use my monthly spread as kind of like a quick, so I basically, I filled out all of my weeks first. And then at the very end of the month, I went back to my monthly spread and I looked at each day and I wrote down one special thing that happened so I can have kind of like a memory at a glance type of thing. And so I, at the beginning, probably like everybody else, kept track of how many days we were staying home and staying socially distanced from everybody. But I'm not, I, I quit counting on day, like, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what day I quit counting because it's been forever. And so there are some weeks in here where I did a lot. I used a lot of stickers because I didn't have a lot of journaling or things to write down. There were some weeks that I left several things blank. Oh, this one was so special to me. So this was my daughter's birthday week. And I let her, she chose every single color tape. She chose every single design. She chose all of the stickers and she decorated this entire day. Like she colored in it and everything. Oh, this is such a special, see, this is why I love, like Shannon's onto something. Like this is, this is super special to be able to, to look back and just have all of these memories and have all these emotions triggered and be able to read everything as well. And so this is probably one of my, aesthetically one of my favorite spreads because gray has very quickly turning into one of my absolute favorite colors. And so the Passion Planner has the monthly reflections in it as well. And I skip through those real quick because sometimes it's pretty emotional, but some weeks I have a lot of writing to do and some weeks, some weeks I have a lot of writing to do and some weeks I don't. This was the Instagram challenge, the Black Lives Matter challenge to make a black and white spread. And so I posted this on Instagram for that week. And then um, I, I don't know what happened that week. I, I don't know. Oh, I know. So this week was really busy because we were leading up to a family vacation to go to the mountains and stay in a cabin. And so I just needed extra spaces for lists and stuff like that. And this was our vacation week. We went to Colorado in Estes Park at the YMCA campus and we just stayed in a cabin and we went to the Rocky Mountain National Park every day and we went hiking. And so, again, I don't really utilize this, but the Passion Planner is a really good goal-setting system as well. And this is July. And I love this spread, too. There's a lot of writing, and there's just a few stickers, but I love the colors and the simplicity of it. And then, again, like I said, gray is starting to become my favorite color. This is a Dolce Planner sticker. This is my favorite girl. I love that girl with the purple hair because purple is my for real favorite color. And then this is a spread that we, I didn't even finish. We had a family emergency. And so I just, I couldn't finish that week. All right. And then we're in August. And so I wanted to try a bunch of different styles to see kind of what style I really liked. I've never really done like super dark spreads. And then I wanted to counter this really dark spread with a really bright spread. This is the week that I finished a book of from the Moxie Life Book Club. And I really, really loved it. It's a Shonda Rhimes book. And it was the year of yes. And it really resonated with me when I finished that. So this whole spread was based off of that book. And then we're still in August. Okay. 
So this was a self-care week that I did for myself. This, another reason I love memory planning is because I love keeping little notes and stuff that people send me. And so this was another self-care week that I did. And then we're in September. And then this is a week that I didn't really have like a whole lot of extra stuff to write down. This is a sticker kit from Being Bethany Rose. She does a lot of passion planner stickers. Oh, I didn't even do reflections on that one. Okay, this is October, but I had a lot of birthdays in October. <laughs> so this is another sticker kit from Being Bethany Rose as well. Another Being Bethany Rose sticker kit. It's coffee, I had to, because I'm obsessed with coffee. Oh, this was a week that my dog broke his foot. So the next week that I have in here is probably one of my favorite spreads, but I can't really show it because I printed off a lot of family pictures and I don't know how to blur the faces. And so out of respect for my family members, I'm not going to be able to show it, but we had a death in the family and we decided to go to Texas for the services. And so that week here is the week that we did that. And then we went into November and this is all of the Passion Planner stickers. And this is a week that I really didn't have anything going on at all. And so I just tried like a zero white space. I didn't, I didn't like it. It's, it's not for me. It's really pretty, but for me, like when I look at it, it's super distracting and I can't tell where my writing is versus a sticker. And, but I tried it and now I know. And then this is Thanksgiving week. This is a sticker kit from the Patreon of With Wool and Fax. With Wool and Flax. I'm not a Patreon member, but she decided to sell the kit after the Patreon month was finished. And it was florals and I loved it, so I bought it. And then here is one of the last week. This is the last week. Last day in November, we did a lot of nature and outdoor hiking at that, that week. And I've not done my December reflection yet because technically December is not finished. But I was going to show you guys the rest of my December. And a lot of these I haven't even posted on Instagram yet. I haven't been very consistent with posting images of my memory planning. And then this is the week that we are currently in right now. So today is Monday the 21st when I am filming. I'm going to be using this Dolce Planner sticker kit and this is actually going to be the last week in my 2020 Passion Planner because I am going to start. I've been kind of playing with the idea of if I should do this week in here and I actually decided not to. I'm going to start my 2021 memory planning in the new book instead of utilizing this week. And so I'm probably just gonna leave these pages blank back here and then um, just start my next book. So that's the reason I'm doing my flip through just a little bit early is because I'm not gonna be utilizing this last week because I want my first day of the new year to be in the 2021 book, if that makes sense. So there you go. That is a quick flip through of my Passion Planner Memory Keeper, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you.